Greetings, YouTubers. This is Eric Richard. I'm back again on another video. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you all how to connect Cisco IP phone 7970 into a Cisco router 1760. I'm going to bring it over here with you so you can see it's very messy in here. This is 1760 here, as you can see. Uh, hold on, the autofocus is messed up. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, that's the 1700 series, the 1760. I have some Ethernet and telephone line plugged into the interface already. Already, she, <coughs> she is up and running. Okay, so I have my T1 E1 cards, the dual WIC T1 E1, and all that. But we're focusing on plugging in and operating the ip phone that particular model to work with this phone it's only going to be one phone that's part of my disclaimer um because i haven't ordered the other ones but it's going to work i'm going to show you how it's going to work in a minute but uh yes another thing we're going to use well you hear the dial tone another phone that's how it's going to work so i mean on that part look if you hit the lines on these phones that's already work as i showed you all before on the pictures and stuff these lines are active. Same thing's gonna happen to this, you know, when we get that working. There won't be other phones, but it will be able to make calls or receive calls if there was another phone into this um inside the VLAN or subnet to make calls or whatever, you know, but it's gonna it's gonna be capable. This 3560 switch has already been configured and it's already got an interface which is the power over ethernet switch a very good switch both of these are 3560 3, only difference is that they have less ports this one does this one is hooked to the router we're going to work on the seven the 1760 um it's already trunk mode on there so i'm going to plug this in to show you an idea of why i'm making this video and i'm gonna give you some disclaimer my videos are long but I'm trying to cover everything. We're going to take this. This is already hooked to a voice VLAN. You need to watch the video on how to set up IP phones. I'm going to tell you about that in a second. So let's go ahead and flip this over. This is the firmware has been erased as if you ordered this on eBay. There is no firmware. Look at this real carefully. There are three interface you got the auxiliary and um, we don't really use the auxiliary i think that's for like configuration or something like that i'm not quite sure this is the regular um power adapter interface we're not going to use that either believe it or not this that's why we're using power over ethernet we don't use this one um that's what you would have done if you did packet tracer. This is not packet tracer. I would not go parallel. I mean, I'm somewhat parallel with packet tracer. But to co fully configure it, you have to consult with packet tracer. There are videos about that with packet tracer. This is the switch. We're going to plug this interface into the switch. And like if you had a PC that you want to share with, that's what the encapsulation is for if you learn with other videos with encapsulation you can plug your pc directly to here so let's go ahead and plug this in yeah let me bring this out first because i want to flip it you just push this button here and then you lift it back so go ahead and plug it here i want y'all to see it and it should be powered up right now yeah, it's, it's the power is present. It granted power to these phones. Right now, again, there's nothing in this phone. I mean, this phone is blank. It don't have the firmware. I've already downloaded the firmware, which I will show you all. You're going to see this thing powering up. Again, I know my videos are really long, but that's just to help you all to see something. That's what it looks like when the firmware has been cleared. So when it gets to that point, I'm going to show you something. 
Okay, this is the power sequence, and what you're seeing is the MAC address of this phone. These are MAC address. It's looking for that firmware, which is hooked to the switch, and that switch is trunked into the router. That's what it looks like when it's firing up. It's going to keep doing this until we get everything configured, until I get all the firmware into that router. And, every, and configured the CNF and everything. That's when it's going to start setting up. up. It will literally download into this phone. So that's why it's just going to keep on looping and looping. Show you the MAC address upgrading. It's looking for that firmware. So I will go along. Here's the thing about this video. The disclaimer. I'm not going to do all the configuration like setting up VLAN and stuff like that. I'm not going to do all that. Hold on, let, me, let me explain to you another video before we get started. So watch the other video.